Well, I have to say that cooking the pumpkins in the steamer is the simplest way to go. If you only have one or two, it's not that bad to do in the microwave. However, when you cook them in the microwave, at least when I do it, there's always a little bit of a waste. There's always some that dries out just a little bit. And Cooking it in the steamer, it cooks nice and even and just beautiful, nice and perfect. So you can't beat that. That's the way to do it from now on for me. So the first batch of pumpkin has cooled down now. And I already took the skins off. Here's all the skins. I just used my little paring knife here. Works beautifully. So now we're going to take the potato masher and just mash them up. After about one minute of mashing, the puree is ready. Now you really don't have to get it to a fine mix because most likely whenever you go to bake something you're going to stick it in the blender anyways. You just want to get it mostly knocked down. If you want, you can use the blender now. It just makes more dishes, that's all. So we're going to, final step is put it in a measuring cup and put it in a freezer sandwich baggie and whenever we're ready for it, all we have to do is defrost it and we'll have fresh pumpkin all year round. So here's our bag of pumpkin. We're just going to get the air out. So I'll zip it up about halfway. Get the air out, most of it, as much as you can. And seal up the rest away. And then what I like to do is I like to make it nice and flat. It just stores better in the freezer that way. That way you can just stack it on top of each other. And last but not least, you don't forget what you have. That's obviously pumpkin, but I always write it anyway. We will put, let's see, it's one cup, and we'll put today's date, and we'll just stick that in the freezer, and whenever we want to make something, we'll just pull it out, defrost it, and we'll be good to go. So all of our pumpkins are finely processed, and here's our end result. As you can see, there's several bags. We have um, proportioned in different quantities. Uh, this stack is one cup, and that one over here that's the equivalent of one small can, which is one and three quarter cup. And the two up in front are both half cup bags. And here's another little stack of the one cup. So we started with 11 pumpkins we ended up using, which all together weighed 50 pounds before they were cut. And we ended up with 40 and three quarters cups of pumpkin puree. And that also equals 23 and one quarter small cans. So we do not have a pumpkin shortage here in the Midwest, that's for sure. So this will definitely keep us going for the year, and the only other step we have is to put it down in the basement in the deep freeze, and it'll stay good for about a year. So we're all set.